Hello everyone, this is Ravan Lingam coming up with a new thing which I have built uh, the widely known game called Tic Tac Toe. So I have built this particular game using MuleSoft with the help of uh, Object Store concept. Okay, so you can learn this Object Store concept in a fun way. Let's see how I have built this uh, Tic Tac Toe game. Okay, so I am using some basic HTML pages to have a graphical view. Okay, basically home.html is my login page where your game will be displayed. So I have deployed this application. Let's quickly see how it works. So you can see I am clicking on the login page. Okay, when you click on the login page, your flow comes over here. So retrieve all operation will retrieve all the key value pairs that are stored in your object store. So currently, if you see this retrieval operation, I'm storing the payload in a target variable called RA. When you go to the next processor, you can see there are some keys which are already stored in object store. So one thing which you can uh, you know uh, learn is that object store key value pairs are always stored irrespective of your application is stopped or restarted. The values will always be saved so whenever you have a use case where you want to have those values present even though when your ap application is restarted you can make use of this object store so whenever i'm using the log so here my login page whenever i start my flow i want to delete all the existing keys that are present in object store that's the reason my next thing is flow reference which we call remove all flow if you see my remove all flow, I, you can see there is a remove operation of object store which is wrap within for each loop. The reason behind is we don't have any kind of remove all operations like we had remove, retrieve all operation. So we need to remove all the keys step by step. Okay, so I'm just going to the next phase. Okay, and now I have all my values got removed. I'll show you where I have removed. You can see when you are doing one more retrieval operation. Now, after removing all the current object keys, you can see there is a past template called home.html page. You can see home.html page, which displays all this value. Now we have our home page where you can select your box you can start playing so usually player x will be triggering out i'll tell you how i have used toast uh, you know what is the concept that i have used to uh, make player x to start up the game so suppose i'm clicking on the fourth box over here you can see here that this particular listener is called you can see the path play is called so i'll show you where exactly this particular flow is called if you go to login home.html page there is a tag called form this tag is very important so form action play so all the nine boxes have something like you know the names assigned like index one two three four so on nine so whenever you click on any box that particular thing as the type is submit it will go to the form action and cause the play flow and your flow is triggered over here you can see there is something that i have that I am doing over here. So this is a retrieve operation. So I am retrieving a key which doesn't have a value actually. So that's the reason I am making some uh, something over here. You can see default value I am setting up with X. If you are not using any default value and trying to search with the key which is not present, then it will error out. Okay. So as I told you to uh, to kick off the game from player X, you need to do this particular retrieve operation and then you can store this particular thing in a target variable called change so now my target variable where dot change is assigned to x i'm using another set variable called vas dot change i'll tell you why so uh, sorry vas dot value which is assigned with value vas dot change so you can see now vas dot value and vas dot change values are x Okay, now we are calling another for flow called store. So this store operation will store the values in object store in a key value pair. So the key name is also something like dynamic. 
So I have shown you, right? Like at, I'm using something like attributes.query string. So this query string is nothing but in your HTML page, there is something like index, index one, index two, index three. So if you go back to debugger and see the attributes, you can see there is something like query index, some query string, something like this. So index four equal to hash over here because currently the index four value is hash. You can see here index four is currently the value is hash. So now I am storing with the help of store operation, the key name as index plus plus attributes dot query string of five. That means uh, it gives the index of the box. Now it is four. Okay. If there is no uh, no index as such, I'm using some default value so that it won't error out. I'm storing the value with vars dot value, which is nothing but x. That means now you can see after storing that, I'm using again the retrieval operation to see what all values are present in object store. If you go back to vars again in the array, you can see the size is only one. Previously, we used to have size 10. We have removed all the object store values when we have clicked this login page okay now you can see there is index 4 equal to x that value is stored in your object store now if you go to the next processor what i am doing over here is whatever value which you are retrieving from retrieve all i am doing some transformation as we have only nine boxes i am using these values as index one two three so on nine which is assigned to vars dot index. So whatever values that are coming from retrieve all, I am assigning them to one, two, three, and so on nine. If there is no value present, then I am giving the default value as hash. Then I have another transformation where to check whether the game is one or draw. So for that condition, I am using all the pattern matching things like XXX and OOO for this, that particular rows. You can see like one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or horizontal pattern match or cross pattern match. If any of them is XXX or OOO, then the vars dot check will be set to true. And there is another thing called vars dot draw. That means if each of the box is assigned with some value X or O, but still if the game, uh, if the patching pattern is not happening, that means the game is a draw. Okay. So currently both values will be false. You can see here now my values for check and draw are false. And then I'm using a store operation here now to store the actual index zero value. Now the reason uh, behind using this value is to make the players to play alternatively. Now index zero is set already to X. I mean, whenever I used retrieve, as there is no value, I am giving the default value as X. Now I am storing as player X has already chose his uh, box. Now I am storing this index zero value with O so that the next player will be O. And then F6. So till here you have seen that various operations of object store that is retrieval, retrieve and store. So store is used to store any data in key value form. Retrieve walls retrieves all the key values, key value pairs, whereas retrieve will retrieve only that particular key which you are giving over here. So all these three operations, now you might be aware of uh, what those are. Okay, now I am having a choice router over here which checks whether vars.check equal to equal to true or vars.draw equal to equal to true. Now in this case, both are false. So it will go to default where it will start continuing our flow. And you can see currently my payload value is assigned with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now fourth value is assigned to X that we got from retrieve all. You can see the point mark dot HTML page. We have assigned the values as hash of payload dot index one, two, three, so on nine. So we can make use of this MEL expression language to display the values. Now, as we have only uh, index four, which is assigned to X, those uh, the index four is replaced with X and other rest of the things are 
replaced with hash. Now, if you click on this, you can see my fourth box is a cross one. Now, the second player should be O, and if you click on here, you can see the same flow is triggered again. The, all the same operations will be continued. You can see player O has checked the third box, so it is displaying the value O. Likewise, I will be unmuting my I will be muting my breakpoint so that I can continue continue my game. So you can see X O X O X. Now, if I click O over here, the game is won. You can see you have won. Now you can click once this is uh, once your game is won or draw. You can reset. Uh, with the help of reset button so reset will ask you to go back to your login flow here where again all the keys which are present will be removed and the same process will continue over again let's see for the draw condition x o x o x o x o and x Sorry, there is a cross pattern, uh, cross pattern which is my matching, so it is one. Let's try again to make it a draw. X O X O mm -mm, X O X O and X. It's a draw. So it is pretty simple to build a small game like this with the help of object store. It is also very powerful. Okay. Why don't you try something new uh, and come up with new things. Hope this helps you and it is interesting. I showed, I'll share the code across uh, in my GitHub account. I'll share the details. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you.